I see you've been asking what is the easiest way to get into cybersecurity without tech experience or tech degree. There are tons of jobs in cybersecurity. Forbes says over 2.3 million job opportunities are available in the cybersecurity industry. Over 750,000 of these jobs are in the US. It is rumored that every skilled cybersecurity professional has a job. Look, I can categorically tell you cybersecurity pays the best salaries in the tech industry. I know because I am one of them. So if you're looking to get into cybersecurity, your thoughts are on the right path. Trust me. Only reason people do not give cybersecurity a thought is because they think they cannot code or do anything technical. I'm about to shock you. You do not need to know programming to get into cybersecurity. You don't need a computer science degree or tech-based degree. You don't need a computer engineering degree. You need not to know how to code. You don't need to know how to program. None of that. All you need is the ability to read, understand, and implement. Listen to me. Cybersecurity has eight domains. And I'm going to be sharing with you eight of these domains and what they mean and let you know the one that you can do that actually do not require any tech degree or background. Are you ready? Okay. Now, the first one is network security. Imagine your data is like a letter being sent through the mail. Network security ensures no one can open or tamper with that letter while it's traveling from the sender to the receiver. The example is firewalls. They act like security guard for your computer network, deciding which data can come in and go out, like checking who enters a building. That is what network security is about. The second one is information security. And what does that do? Again, information security is like putting a lock on your diary to keep your secret safe. It's about protecting your digital information from being stolen or messed with. Now, the example is encryption. This is like turning your message into a secret code only you and your friend can understand. Even if someone else sees it, they can't read it. Even if they can read it, they cannot understand it. The third one is endpoint security. And what does it do? Think of your computer, your phone as a castle. Endpoint security ensures no sneaky viruses or intruders enter your castle to steal your treasures. Example is antivirus software. This is like a guard, you know, like a guard dog that sniffs out and gets rid of any harmful bugs trying to get into your device. The fourth one, which is the fourth domain, is application security. And what does this mean? Imagine a building made of bricks. Application security ensures there are no weak spots or holes in the walls that burglars could use to break in. The example of this is before releasing a new app, developers test it thoroughly to find and fix any security weakness that hackers could exploit. Now, the fifth one, which is the fifth domain, is cloud security. Quick one. If you would like to earn multiple six figures in cybersecurity in 45 days, even without an IT degree or experience, if you would like to work from the comfort of your home, earning multiple six figures in cybersecurity in just 45 days, and I'm talking about $250,000 a year and above, I want you to click the link below to apply and schedule a destiny call with my team. If we find you a good fit, we will work with you to help you transition into multiple six figures in cybersecurity in just 45 days. Now, this is for serious and committed individuals who want to make a difference and earn multiple six figures in 45 days in cybersecurity. It is important to know that we have a 15% acceptance rate, which means if we see you do not qualify, we will not work with you. We work with individuals who consider themselves as elite. If you're ready to change your story and move to the next level, Click the link now and apply to book a destiny call with my team and my team will meet you on the inside. The eighth domain is the one that you need and we're on the fifth one. So just follow along. Now, cloud security is the fifth one we're discussing about. Cloud security is like having a secret vault where you store your valuables. It ensures that your important data and files are safe in the cloud, like Google Drive or Dropbox. All right. The example of that is cloud providers use strong passwords, encryption, and access control to keep your data safe in their servers. The sixth one 
is incident response and management. And what does this mean? Think of an incident response as a fire alarm for your computer systems. What it does is it helps you quickly detect and handle problems like cyber attacks or data breaches. You know, when a company systems are hacked, incident response team work to stop the attack or minimize the damage and investigate how it happened. The seventh one is identity and access management. Identity and access management is like giving keys to the right people to access certain rooms. It ensures that only authorized individuals can enter specific areas or use particular resources. Now, an example of that is logging into your email with a username and password is simple form of identity and access management. Now, multi-factor authentication adds an extra layer of security by requiring a code to be sent to your phone. Now, the final domain where our source is, the final domain that I want to introduce you to, that I want you to pursue, that I want you to do and earn multiple six figures in cybersecurity is the next one that we're talking about. And what is that? It is called GRC. And what that means is governance, risk, and compliance. Like I said, GRC in cybersecurity stands for governance, risk, and compliance. It's a framework and approach used by organizations to manage and enhance their cybersecurity efforts. GRC in cybersecurity helps organizations maintain a structured approach to cybersecurity by defining the rules, managing risk, ensuring compliance with relevant regulations and standards. It's a comprehensive strategy to protect digital assets and data while minimizing potential threats and vulnerabilities. You might want to ask me, why would I recommend GRC as a path for people intending to break into cybersecurity? I'm going to give you three reasons why I would recommend GRC. Number one, it's non-technical and easy to learn. Number two, the demand for GRC professionals is high and it keeps increasing. Number three, they are some of the highest paid in the industry. Do you know that an average GRC professional earns about $120,000 a year? Imagine that. That is how much they, and that is the average you can earn as much as $180,000 a year, depending on your experience and your capacity. If you're looking to become a GRC professional, I have developed a 45 day blueprint for you. Click the link in the description to access it, and I will see you on the inside.